Hi, good morning. It's Thursday morning and I'm Sharon Taylor. I serve as pastor at St. Peter Lutheran Church and that's in Fort Myers Beach, Florida, beautiful Southwest Florida. And we love to come to you twice a week, Thursdays and Tuesdays, um, in a way for you to begin with devotions that we call Blessings on the Beach. And we also invite you to join us for worship on Sundays. We live stream on our YouTube channel at 930, or you can always go back and listen to it after the fact. We also have lots of devotions from the past on there as well. So this week we're using again the Breath of the Soul, Reflections on Prayer by Joan Chittister, who is a Benedictine nun and speaker and author. And so today her quote, we're actually doing a devotion called Routine, Routine, and her quote is from Gandhi. Prayer is the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. Joan writes, routine, the almost thoughtless doing of the endless repetition of life, is one of the mainstays of human development. It saves us from the cross of chaos that plagues any life that lacks shape or form. It ties us to the earth and liberates us from a sense of eternal freefall. Because we know what we will do every Tuesday night, every day from 9 to 5, every Friday after work, we are free to think about other things. We can concentrate on the substance of life if we are not in a state of constant uncertainty. Confusion about what to do next, where to do it, with whom to discuss it, and how long it will take disorients the soul. By setting up schedules and timetables, we assure ourselves that what needs to be done will be done. Then we can attend to all the other things that happen without warning the telephone calls and the drop-in visitors, the sick child and the crashed computer, the new idea and the old project. The very dailiness of prayer does for us what nothing else can do. It encapsulates us in a sense of human purpose. It gives us a star to steer by that never fades. Morning prayer, done every day, consciously and contemplatively, defines the attitudes we will take into the day with us. It gives us a framework for looking at life that gets behind the burden of the day to come and the warnings of impending disaster that come with the morning news. It takes us to the source of what it will take to sustain us as we go. It refreshes the sense of spiritual resolve in us day after day after day. It gives us a vision beyond the humdrum to the meaning of why we do what we do. Morning prayer is indeed the key to being able to face not only what will come, but the way we deal with it as well. Evening prayer washes away the dross of the day. It brings us to peace with ourselves. Despite the struggles of the day that are still pending, still waiting for us tomorrow again, it blesses the efforts of this day and promises the blessing for the next. It closes the door on this day so that we can open the door on the next with hope and with welcome. It confirms to us a sense that the God who made us also knows the dust from which we come and loves it and believes in it and will be with us in all the struggles it brings again tomorrow. It is the routine of daily prayer that carries us from one day to the other, full of trust, followed by mercy. And her mantra for the day is, Great God, bless my rising and sleeping so that I may live faithful to your love. And then our scripture lesson is from Psalm 3, verses 6 to 7. Now I can lie down and sleep and then awake again, for you have hold of me. No fear now of those tens of thousands who stand against me wherever I turn. Arise, Yahweh. I like the quote from Gandhi. So thinking of prayer is the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. You know, so the key that's, that opens and begins our day, that starts us on this fresh day, we might still be having to do things that carry over from the day before, but it is a new chance and a new fresh beginning. 
And so remembering that. And, you know, some people use remembering their baptism as a way to start fresh every day. Martin Luther said, when you remember your baptism, wash your face or wash your face while you're washing your face, remember your baptism. So, you know, just using those normal routines of washing your face in the morning or um, when you are taking a shower or any time that you're using water to remember your baptism, to remember this sense that God gives you this new beginning over and over again, a second chance, a third chance, on and on. So the morning prayer is the key that opens this new day. And then he says the bolt of the evening, you know, so evening prayer is that that closes the door, that is, um, gives us that sense of being able to shut down and to say, whatever has happened today has happened. Um, I did my best, but you know, there are things that I've left undone. It is what it is to be able to close that door and accept that in ourselves and then be able to sleep well so that we can get up again the next day and begin um, our life again. But again, begin with the intention of prayer and the intention of looking positively at gratitude. So it's about the routine, but how prayer can be built into our daily routine and how that can enhance our spiritual lives. So we thank Joan for her writings, which I find always inspiring. Um, and thank you for being with me and hope you join us on Sunday at 930 for worship. And we will be with you for Blessings on the Beach again next week on Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining.